Thanks for checking in, Chief. Me, I've been sort of torn up lately. An old friend of mine got jumped the other night. I want to go visit him, but... Well, you know. That's horrid. Yeah, it was a pack of fuckers from EPAF. They knew my mate ain't from here. They kept yelling, England first, England first, as they kicked the shit out with him. How can we help? I don't know. I don't know. How dreadful. It's a classic paradox. The shittier a society gets, the less willing everyone is to share it. There's been a spike in anti-immigrant violence lately, perpetrated by organized groups like the EPAF. How boorish. Is there anything we can do about it? The EPAF, or English Patriotic Action Front, appears to be unusually well-funded and organized. They could be connected to some larger criminal enterprise. Best look into it. Kennington Park. Local news reports indicate it has been occupied by a group of violent xenophobes calling themselves the English Patriotic Action Front. interesting email on here. It seems the EPAF answers to someone calling themselves Kingfisher, who is pushing them to attack immigrants. Intriguing. What else do you have? The laptop's GPS indicates a location where Kingfisher regularly meets with at least one EPAF member. I doubt they go there to swap football stickers or pick each other's hooves. Seems like a good spot to dig up some info. Pushing the location now. Hooray! Another friend to raise hell with. Welcome to DedSec. Bang in! Hype to expose the bastards in charge, yeah? Fabulous. Abilities. That's wicked. This is where an EPAF organizer had his regular meetings with Kingfisher, who seems to be pulling the EPAF's strings. Huh? We are keeping you safe.
Why do we have to meet in a police station? It makes me feel edgy. It's good cover. If anyone sees you, they'll assume the old Bill picked you up. Just weird to be sitting here without the old bracelets, is all. So what have you got for us? Names. It's a list of people in this neighborhood that Filament tells us will be prone to violence if provoked. You want us to start some fights? The bloodier the better. We want some nice, scary ultra-violence for Gran and Grandad on the evening news. Is that a problem? How do we know this won't come back on me and mine? Sirs wants the same thing you want. Everyone out of the Oval and the immigrant crisis resolved. You'd be doing a public service. Ha! <laughs> a public servant. Who'd have thought, eh? Multiple files added to the data drive. And would you look at that? Kingfisher is an SIRS officer, so they're the ones funding the EPAF. Sirs is behind this. Shit. Just once I want it to be reptoids. It's all here in the audio file. Or you could just ask Kingfisher himself. The Met are lending him an office in this very police station. Sorry, what? Why? Maybe it cuts down on his commute. How should I know? Find him and take him out so we can put an end to this EPAF business.
Kingfisher is down. That should make it harder for those xenophobic goons to get their intolerant hands on military weaponry at the very least. Wish the same could be said for Albion. On a related note, you should probably scarper. trying to provoke immigrant violence to justify coming down on them like a ton of pricks. What do I do? I've asked Malik for his analysis. The surface will bury it if you release that recording to the media, so you'll have to self-distribute. Sir's protocol says to do two things. Sow disinformation on the internet and distance themselves from the incident. Propaganda works, so no one will know what's true, and by the time the dust settles, anyone who could incriminate them will be gone. Let's do it. Agreed. Done. Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected dead sec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. What a load of shit. Fucking guy can spin a story though. Playing the victim when he's the one we should all be afraid of. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. A few of us had an idea about that, actually. Bagley, bring it up. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired, so all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is gonna blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? So maybe she doesn't need to work alone. We could use a voice like hers, and she could probably use some backing. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, 
then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. Welcome to DeadSec. Bigger, stronger, badder than ever. I'm happy to be here. Now, let's get to it. Fuck yeah. The ongoing protest oh, against yeah. illegal immigration in Kennington Park has dispersed today following rumors of turmoil amongst the protesters. SIRS confirms several of the protests organizers have been arrested on outstanding warrants. Are you joking? Is this actually free? Somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. For someone with fuckloads of enemies, she's way too easy to find. Or maybe we're just too smart. Ah, we should hurry. Fucking hell, someone's killed him! This is bullshit! Why does it feel like the bad guys are always winning? I'd love to listen to you moan all day, but perhaps investigating her murder would be a better use of our time. I know, I know. It's just shitty. Obviously, we're gonna find out who did this. We need to know whose stupid face is to fuck up. Bags, what do you think of this graffiti? Bit flashy, yeah? Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. I don't know. Clan Kelly are murderous goons, not bragging idiots. Yelling, we did a crime, isn't really their style. Hey, footprints. Do that CSI shit on them, Bagsy. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Hmm. Oh, I wonder who they supply. Albin. Nice. Those assholes didn't get her tablet. Might be a lucky day. Can you scan it, Bagsy boy? Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. OK, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <laughs> security, drop your weapons! Gather all our equipment and get it in the carousel. You, tag that wall, then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. This has got to be the dirt we need to nail Cass. And not just for Claire and uh, what's her name, but for the other guy from earlier and the old guy from a while ago. Look, bad name, but you get the idea. The Albion dickhead mentioned carousel. Must mean carousel plus.
cars all right. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. I hate to interrupt you while you're busy resisting, but I thought you might want to know that one of your operatives just got grabbed off the street and shoved into an unmarked van. Shit. My thoughts exactly. I've run a psychological profile and TPS trace on every Londoner you've ever made an enemy of, and I think I found the likely culprit. Track her down, and she might lead you to your missing friend. Piss easy. I got this. You know, statistically speaking, smoking is more likely to kill you than any dead sec op. Statistically speaking, I could get hit by a bus. So, you know, whatever. Kidnapper is nearby, carrying on with some unseemly new associates. You should be able to find our missing operative's location on her optic. <laughs> 